All right, if you've been to an RV park, you know that the power and the water are kind of usually in the same area, and the power comes with a big old circuit breaker box. What the heck is this thing? Is this a cow milking station? Nope. This is 15 amp service. I'm gonna show you how to make this work in your Volta equipped Pier 3 lithium ion Travato today without tripping your neighbor's breaker. Howdy, thanks for tuning in today. My name is Scott, I'm your host. Welcome to Go Small, Live Large. We are a YouTube channel dedicated to sharing with you the learning from the road as I travel around North America as a digital nomad. I live and work a corporate job full time from my 21 foot Winnebago uh, camper van. Okay, so I'm at the Escapers uh, Club Convergence outside of Phoenix and uh, we're at a fairgrounds. Um, the county fairgrounds and um, they don't have typical RV service so what I want to do is is tap into the 15 amp that I did uh, pay for um, just so I can have my electricity on all the time I wouldn't really need to do this because of my lithium system but um, my my philosophy on plugging in versus not is like your iPhone or your smartphone if you're sitting next to an outlet you just plug the thing in right um, and then save the battery when you're not plugging you know, plugged in. So I have the same philosophy with my Travato. Even I could sit here for you know several days on DC power only, uh, as we've proven in a previous video, I can run for about five days um, on DC only. But I want everything on. I want the big, uh, big music, and that requires alternating current, electricity, and uh, I don't want to have to you know, do the charge sessions. So I bought the 15 amp, so let's just use the 15 amp. But to do 15 amp, you need to do a couple things to uh, not trip the breaker, and that's what I want to show you. So I'm sharing the service with my neighbor here, and if I had this thing, um, this thing being the lithium system, um, pulling 30 amps, it would trip the breaker and they would be unhappy. We don't want that. Let me show you how to do this. So the first thing you're going to do on your Travato, uh, uh, Volt equipped Travato, is I'm going to illuminate the display and we're going to actually read from the directions here together so this is the electrical section of the manual um, there's six or seven six specific set steps here sorry that um, we need to go through all right so what we want to do is make sure the display is awake by just waking it up like that oops sorry guys for the shaking and the next thing we want to do is press the display enter button for about five seconds until we get into a mode that looks like this So normally it's set on 30 amps, which means it's ingesting into the Volta lithium ion system 30 amps worth of electricity. What we want to do is change that so it's only ingesting 15 amps. So we hold the enter button down until the S comes on for make a change. <laughs> and we're gonna, as you can see, it starts zero, five, 10, 15. So 15 amps, we're gonna press enter once to confirm. You can see the red light blinking there. And now that is done. So pretty cool, right? Um, it is a little manual, but it does prevent the breaker from popping, which is what we want to do. And this would be the situation if you are plugging into a family typical household circuit. Um, I would even probably lower that down to even five or 10 amps, um, because if there's anything plugged into that, say for example, you're plugging into a um, an outlet in the garage, but there's also a fridge plugged into that and maybe a freezer plugged into that. Um, those appliances are going to draw from that same 15 amp circuit. So you would want to lower the amps being drawn into in, ingested into the Volta system so it doesn't trip the breaker. I've learned this the hard way. Trust me, it trips the breakers if you don't do this. So that's the inside portion. Let me show you how you hook this up on the outside. So the first thing you're one, uh, going to want to do is to get a seriously heavy gauge um, extension cord. I, this is 50 foot heavy duty 10 gauge. 10 gauge being the key, they're really expensive, they're really heavy, and they're really necessary for doing this. So what I've done is I've laid this out and I'm gonna walk you through the steps. So again, this is the electrical connection here, kind of goes in here like that. So then I've laid out my cord. All along to the electrical ingest point. But you can't connect this to this, right? So you need this adapter. 
So this adapter plugs into um, the outlet like this. One hand is always a trick. And then this 30 amp fits into this. that then as usual your 30 amp goes into this now I have specifically not plugged this in yet because I don't want to cause any potential short or anything here by moving this around I want one single instance of on if you will just like tripping the breaker okay so 30 amp here got the adapter to the extension cord extension cord around and now let's go back and plug this in and then we will verify that this is working on the inside. All right, so then what we wanna do is just verify that this is now running. So disabled by jumper, that's what we wanna see. So 15 amps, branch amps is what we want to see. That's great. So there you go. So that's two hours to charge from 75% uh, to 100% using 15 amp service. Not surprisingly, that's about twice as long as it would, um, well, if not way more, actually uh, using 30 amp. Uh, 30 amp I've seen charges significantly faster. I don't have many energy draws going on right now, um, but I'm pretty pleased with that. Um, and I'm gonna stay plugged into 15 uh, amp service here throughout the, uh, throughout the convergence. Hope you enjoyed that. If you did, give me a thumb up. Really do appreciate that. That helps others find the channel. If you haven't subscribed, this is a shocking statistic. Um, although we're closing in on 5,000 subscribers, nearly 70% of you that watch this are not subscribers. Now that hurts my heart. <laughs> and if you're familiar with the YouTube community at all, you know that subscribing does not cost you anything. Subscribing does not spam you with email and other stuff. And if you hit the notification bell, that's the only way you know that I have posted a new video. And since you're here watching this, I'm assuming you want the information that I share from my learnings on the road. So please subscribe to the channel. I would love to see that number go up. Again, almost 70% of you aren't subscribers, but do watch the videos, which I do appreciate a lot. So thank you for everything that you do out there. That's what this channel is all about is is sharing uh, those learnings so that you can achieve the dream that you want with an rv whether it's part-time or full-time the new mantra is ready live happy live free live rv